football is fraught with homophobia as it is, uh, and then holding holding the largest celebration in that country is only going to make it worse. Some people, they might feel a bit uncomfortable coming over there. You never know in the future, people might be targeted because of it. Can you really enjoy a sport in a place where you're not accepted, essentially? Would you, would you even feel okay to go to somewhere that it's not accepting you as a person. It's a really weird feeling stepping off a plane and thinking, oh God, I'm a criminal now, even when I'm going there with my boyfriend. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not a nice feeling. If you live in a community that's very tolerant of that, it's a part of your identity that's not up for contest. But as soon as you go into a more hostile environment, these become questions that you have to ask yourself again about who you are and what you are and whether that's OK and how accepted that is. The people that are against it in Qatar are going to be painted in such a bad light because of it, you know, because it's going to be such a positive, everyone coming together for the football, and anyone against it, there's no real way they can just be like, everyone's going to be like, you're just in the wrong, mate, you know, we're all having a great time here. I believe that each one has the right to love whoever he wants. <laughs> Whenever he wants, however he wants, that's it is, you know, so it's absolutely unfair. 